Imagine with me for a moment, what if on one of those really cold winter days, your heater just breaks and there's no way to get it working again? Where do you turn? What do you do? What if your hours had been cut at work or you're without a job altogether? What if you're struggling with the isolation, with depression, with a family tragedy or a heavy situation that's been going on, but the idea of paying for counseling is just so far outside your current budget? Where do you turn? This is where the Chelton Fellowship Fund has come alongside so many families in the last several months and years. These are a couple practical ways that we actively come alongside and be able to be um, the hands and feet of Jesus to one another within our community and within our Chelton family. And we want to say thank you because so many of you have given so generously to that fund that we've been able to meet so many needs. And if you're listening to this and you have needs, we'd encourage you to talk to a ministry director, to talk to one of our deacons, or to follow up with the church office um, and find out how you can find the assistance you need. But along the lines of saying thank you, you've given not just to the fellowship fund, but to our church as a whole. And in a season where so many churches, ministries, organizations, and even businesses are struggling, you've been faithful. And we thank the Lord for that and for you. We wanted to share just a few of the amazing ways that because of your generosity, Chelton has been able to adapt and change to continue to meet our ministry goals and to continue to share who Jesus is um, to our community, to our friends, to our families, and even broader. We've been able to continue to meet the needs of struggling teens who are struggling with isolation and so much change in these pivotal moments of life. Our children's ministry has continued to adapt and change in so many ways. The food pantry has changed their entire system of how they hand out food to make sure that their volunteers and their customers are safe, but have kept those pivotal relationships with their customers who depend on this food, but also who are looking for a smile and somebody to ask them how their day's going. Our staff has never had to worry if they're getting a paycheck and if they're able to support their family. Well, they work so hard to serve and to come alongside each one of us as members of Chelan. And for our missionaries, we have heard so many stories where support has dwindled, where they're concerned because some of their supporting entities just are not able to do so anymore. But not only have we, when, have we been able to meet our commitment, we've also been able to give a one-time bonus to each and every one of our missionaries to help them through um, any lost income, to help them continue to do the work that they're called to do all around the world. So we just wanna say thank you. Um, on behalf of the trustee board and um, the finance committee, um, it has been so exciting to see your generosity and just your dedication to what the Lord has called you to do. We are in the midst right now of budgeting for our 2021-2022 fiscal year. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to our PLT and our Chetland staff because they are working so incredibly hard to plan and vision and think through what's next, how they're adapting their ministries and what resources they need to do that. Um, so your trustees, your elders are all actively working alongside that process. And that budget will be out several weeks before our congregational meeting coming up in a couple months. But during this time, will you just join me in praying for our ministry leaders and our pastors? This is a year of change and thinking ahead of what will the next fiscal year hold that budgeting season is challenging, um, but they're doing such an amazing job with that. And so much of that is because you've remained faithful and you have supported through your dollars um, the work of Chelan. And we just wanna say thank you for that.